Hi. So, I'm sorry you're not going to be able to see, like, me in this video. But, um, okay, so, I've been trying to slowly morph this video into, like, an art channel. And it's something I've been thinking about for, like, a long time now because I've always been good at drawing and like but here lately i have taken such a huge interest in art like i follow a whole bunch of art channels three off the top of my head are super ray dizzle is probably my favorite and then i follow chloe rose art and a whole bunch of other people so whenever i'm not drawing in my sketchbook i'm thinking about art or um watching like art videos and things like that on YouTube on my phone and so I'm going to start one of my own and so I started this drawing the other day it's just a very saint outline it's just a heart it says love at the bottom I'm going to sketch over it and um, all of the art supplies that I'm using are tonight are very cheap art supplies like literally all of them like I've used high-end art products at the local art store i've used dollar general stuff like it doesn't matter what you use you can still make good art the pencil i'm going to use is an art skills pencil and i got it from the dollar general and then this nifty little guy is what i'm going to use to sharpen my pencil i got it from five below my sketch pad five below i have somewhere over there a sketch pad i got from hobby lobby in um, but this five below one is where I started this one in. So, also at five below, I picked up some of these markers. I only used a few of these, but, um, I picked them up, and they're not bad markers so far. Like, they, if I wasn't lazy, I would get up and get my Copic markers, because... <laughs> They're in my cabinet, and I don't want to get up and get them right now, So, but they compare very easily to, like, copay markers. But anyways, I'm going to see, set you guys down somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to set my phone down, maybe, like, right here. Try to make it to where, like, you can still see what I'm doing. Kind of, sort of. Okay, so I'm going to begin the basic sketch of this drawing. I don't know if you can see me or not. Can you all see me? How do I do this? Kind of. Okay. I'm sorry if y'all can't see it at all what I'm working on. I have a very heavy hand. Which is why this is probably going to turn out dark. Oh, so far, first impressions, like if I had a, uh, one of my higher end art, my, one of my higher end sketch pencils to compare this to, because this is really my first time ever working with, like, um, Dollar General, 
products, like, so I have the little stuff I use all the time, but this pencil is just the only thing today that came from the dollar store, and first impressions is honestly not bad, like, if I had a Hobby Lobby one that I could compare it to, um, It's not bad, because I've used cheap pencils before that have been horrible, and then I've used cheap pencils that have been good, like, I've used mechanical pencils to sketch with, like, and this one, I mean, the quality is not bad so far. Like, I will show you guys the finished product whenever I am completely done. Okay. There's the finished heart so far, and in all honesty, it's not bad at all. Now I just gotta do this part. I had an itch on my nose, sorry. But uh, like I said, I've been interested in a lot of art channels here lately. Like, if I'm not doing art, then I am watching art channels on my phone. Um, and like, I'm like, learn how to do different things. Like, I've recently gotten got into uh, drawing on canvases. Like, I used to stray away from canvases because it's just, I don't know. Something about Kansas just kind of used to scare me. But here lately, I've been getting into a lot of canvas work. And I've been getting into oil paints. I've been getting into acrylic paints. And all kinds of stuff. Trying to make myself step out of my comfort zone. Because I used to strictly just use markers or color pencils or um, oil pastels. I love working with oil pastels. But... I've been trying to make myself branch out and, like, step outside of my comfort zone, and I've had so many people tell me, like, you draw so well, or you're such a good artist, you have a lot of talent, um, why don't you start a YouTube channel, why don't you, you know, do something with it, so, this is what I'm trying to do, and, like, before, I wouldn't have ever known the difference between, like, cheap art products from the dollar store and, like, art products that, um, are higher end. And since I've been watching, like, a lot of YouTube art channels here lately, I have learned, um, the difference between the cheaper quality stuff and, like, the higher end stuff and like you can make art out of the cheap stuff because I've been doing it for years but if you want to do anything with like acrylic paint or you're gonna need a little bit better of a sketch pad especially if you want to use acrylic paint in a sketch pad like I tried to use acrylic paint in this one the other day and it's doable, but this one is more so meant for, like, color pencil type of work because the paper in this one is super thin. Um, my one that I got from Hobby Lobby is over there somewhere, and I don't want to get up and go get it. Otherwise, I would do, like, a comparison, but, um... Like, this one's not really meant for, like, any type of... It's definitely not meant for watercolor paint. Like, I tried watercolor paint the other day, and uh, it did not go well. But, um... 
I got one more heart left. Like this sketchbook though, for something that came from Five Below for three dollars, it's not bad quality paper. Like I have had Dollar General's sketchbooks before and it no. And like a trick that I learned from Dollar like when you shop on the Dollar General and you get their stuff, like their sketchbooks are not very good. Like I said, I've had sketchbooks from there before. No. I have learned that you can use you can use cardstock, you can use really anything. And it beats having to use the cheap I mean and there's nothing wrong because this was three dollars. There's nothing wrong with cheap products at all. This was three dollars and it's pretty decent paper. You know, if you use a lot of, like, marker or colored pencil, it's, it's decent paper. But, it's not for painting. So, painting, you want to use something like cardstock or something hard like that. Anyways, I'm going to peace out. But before I peace out, I'm going to show you all the finished product. And, uh... I'll be back for part two.